Do y'all know what day it is? Need a reminder. It's Snap On Friday. There's Hamilton. Today is the greatest day of the week, by the way. Just in case y'all didn't know, it's Friday. Snap On Friday. Let's do it. Come on. day is it? Friday. Finally. Finally. Friday. Finally, finally, finally. I'm about out of gas today. I'm tired. Me too. Been a rough week. What you got a brand new welder on here? That's a trade in. Brand used welder. Yeah. Cornwell. Where'd you get that at? Out of Barnesville. A guy traded it in. Wow. Okay. I thought when old Joe left, that Cornwell was gone. Yeah, he, he actually said he bought it at an estate sale somewhere up in Tennessee. What? He didn't have it just a few weeks, and uh, he welded with it in front of me the other day. I think it was made by Miller who makes it. But, uh, yeah. Got he wasn't happy with it, huh? He wanted the bigger one. What size is that one? That, this actually does 110 or 220. Um, I had to look online. I'd go to Cornwell's website, hmm. and it... Uh, there's three sixteenths, I think, on the 110 volt, and five sixteenths on 220. What it said. Well, somebody on here is probably going to see this and got that welder. They can tell us all about they, it. Yeah, actually, I ain't welded with it. I seen him turn it on, and he uh, welded a couple of beads just so to prove that it worked before I give him any money on it. Yeah. Because it wouldn't be the first one that I took in that didn't work that I sold it did. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm like, what do you do to it? <laughs> Surely not. People wouldn't do that to you, would they? Yeah, exactly. What you got up here? A four-piece striking pry bar set. A blue one. Blue. Huh. That go good with all the other blue tools. Yeah. I got some red ones in there. Just like it. You need them red ones I got, and I need them blue ones you got. Yeah, I'm sure we can work out some type of deal on them. Shoot, I know how that works. I'll give you mine by yours. Let's <laughs> <laughs> have a trade like you ain't got one. <laughs> That's right. How much are them bad boys? I sound like Thomas today. How much is them bad boys? Yeah, they round 200 bucks. 200 bucks. Uh-oh, you yeah. done give away the speaker? Yeah, case go. I wow. picked it up today. And so I got to get another one out the box, put it back up here. I got three more of them we're going to do. Cool. He was, he was, uh. It'd probably a, be cheaper for me just to buy the speaker than trying to buy the stuff to win the speaker. <laughs> nah, that ain't how it works. Right there. <laughs> I thought he was going to get the cooler for a minute. He was looking at the cooler, couldn't decide. He already, but he did say he had like three or four coolers already, so he really didn't need one. Well, but those coolers are nice. Yeah. Really nice coolers. Big wheels on there. That's the real nice part about it, because most of the time you get a big cooler, you got to pick them up and tote them. I haven't got a handle, yeah. you can just drag it behind you. ain't you. never toted one of them big 45 Tundra Yetis full of Michelob Ultra and ice. <laughs> you don't appreciate wheels. Exactly. Because <laughs> they take two people most Ooh, of the time. Things is heady empty. <laughs> you throw, throw about 40 beers off in there and 25, 30 pounds of ice. You toting something. The one in the back of my truck, I took, and you know, they all got the rubber legs on the bottom of them. Mm -hmm. Or the one in my truck, I, it's strapped down anyway to, with a steel cable so nobody can steal it because down here in the south, stuff comes up with stolen. You yeah. had one stolen, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, but I took the rubber off the bottom of it because when I'm working and stuff, it's hard the to tailgate, move that joker. You can't slide you can't, it to yeah. the bed. That way I can slide it. <laughs> Yeah, you don't, you ain't gonna slide a Yeti cooler in the nah, back of the so truck. I did end up having to shorten my cable about two foot because it would slide up and it hit my dang toolbox of the truck. And then when you take off, if you took off hard, it'd slide and hit the tailgate. One of my buddies got a flatbed and he bought him a Yeti. It was like a thirty quart or something. Yeah. He's talking about, man, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to mount this thing where it won't slide. Yeah, it ain't I was gonna like, slide. It ain't gonna slide. The problem is people steal them. Yeah. Like. You can run a hundred mile hour down the highway and it ain't it gonna ain't slide. sliding off. But like you park at Walmart, 
and run in and drop a red box off and come back out, it's gone. Like that's how it works. You, know? yeah, you better have it strapped down. I mean, not not strapped down. You better have it tied down mm-hmm. somehow. Another safety chain or cable. Well, I made those. Or, or I, hooks. Well, I give you one of them hooks yeah. to go in, and I made some hooks. That's what when Hamilton talks about me beating on the vice. That's what it was for the twenty pound <laughs> sledgehammer. That's what I was building that day with yeah. some hooks for the Yeti me to see. keep uh, keep people from stealing it. Well, I don't want to say stealing it because that sounds really bad, but they would borrow it and forget to bring it back. Yeah. Know who they got it from. Well, the metal, that's what I was looking for here. The metal he was working on that day was about this thick. Yeah. It's pretty thick. And it was probably about that long or mm-hmm. longer before he started. Yeah. Then it ended up being a C shape. Yeah. This comes off the tractor when you abusing your bush hog. Mm-hmm. Land clearing. Land clearing. That's the way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> my, my tractor people won't see it for my warranty. You got anything else new over here? It's the same stuff. No, it's all the same. I haven't really been through any boxes. Where I've just been slap covered up with everything besides snap on this week. Yeah. They, uh, I got them in one day. It was just one box, and it was out there in the carport. So instead of just moving to the shop, I opened it up and seeing what it was, and it was right here. I mean, it was <laughs> them. Just threw it on the truck? Yeah. I got a couple boxes I ain't been all the way through yet. Uh, That's good. What you got on special this week? It's kind of like when you go to the local diner, you always ask your tow dealer, what you got on special this yeah. week? Because something's done fell off the shelf about six or seven times get when he's driving here and around, hit the floor. and he's ready to get rid of it. And that's the kind of bargains you want, or the trade-in stuff. Always, always hit your guy up for trade-ins. We do get some good trade-ins, but for us, the specials that we got this week is these lights. Whoop. Whoop. Can't see that. Hang drawer. on, let's open that drawer back up. <laughs> yeah, that had a good trade-in in it. Uh, where'd I do it on my lights? I think it's in there by that pew pew. Here they are, right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got a bunch of these in the other day, or a while back, but I haven't been running the promo on them. But these are some good lights. I got one in here somewhere. Already every open. light snap on got a good light. Yeah. They come out with one every 13 minutes. If y'all subscribe to their Instagram or Facebook, <laughs> you'll get a you notification about every 13 and a half minutes, snap on just released a brand new light. That's what, uh, it's going to be before long. They're going to have to have just a, you know, the big snap on catalog. Be just it's lights. like two inches thick. Yep. Yeah. It'll be the light catalog. Right we'll, there. we'll have two of them, one for lights and one for everything else. That's it. Yeah, they, uh, and they don't put everything in the catalogs. But if you go to the website, you can see everything. And they do, there's, you'd be surprised at the lights. So, what's that, different about that light than that blue point light that I bought from you? Uh, nothing really. I think the blue point was discontinued. It's now. blue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it, it works the same. It's got the it light does, on the it's end. Got the light on the end like a flashlight. Yep. And that's what most people buy it for. And then you got the light right here, of course. Yep. Um, these are rechargeable compared to, and they're great lights. Not my favorite. I love these because the battery. Yeah, you can change the battery. But it does not out. have the light right here. Mm-hmm. You only got this one. Uh, this one is brighter than this one, but I I love this light right here though. It looks like you fighting with them like lightsabers yeah <laughs> <laughs> it just to me this it's hard to beat this light right yeah here. see i got this one and i ended up putting it out there on my dog pen yeah i have to undo it i slide it i got loose zip ties that i just lay it up in on the yeah. roof and when i go out there at night to feed my dog i click it on feed my dog click it off yeah that thing's probably been out there six weeks now it's not in the rain it's under a top i mean i ain't the kind of you know redneck it leaves my dog rain, out yeah. in the rain but man that thing lasts a long time it's pretty impressive and it's micro usb so I, what i do i'm too lazy to tote it in the house and hunt one so i walk to my truck plug it up and throw it in the floorboard mm-hmm. the next morning when i go out to feed because i feed my dogs twice a day i go out there the next morning Get unplug it, out it and go put stick it back, it back up. Yep. I don't use it till night time. They don't. I mean, it don't take long at all to charge. I can tell you right here, actually. Is that the micro that's USB? That's in the micro in USB yeah. on right here. Man, it's even in the same spot as the Blue Point line. Uh-huh. Huh. Like I said, I think the Blue Point is discontinued now. That's probably why, because they had to come up with a new snap on line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do? Let's remake the Blue Point one. Let's just take the Blue Point and paint it red. And... Yeah. 
Oh yeah, charging time and run time is actually, I'm surprised they're the same. Both of them are five hours. Yeah. So if you buy two of them, you won't never be without a light. By the time it goes dead, there you go. the other one will be charged up. Most of the time, the charge time is a lot longer than yeah, the run time. Is. See, they did add this thing to it here, this funky little... The anti-roll? Anti-roll, yeah. The only thing I don't like about these, like I said, they're good lights, they're great. Uh, I do got one, but I don't ever use it. When I grab, reach for a long one, I reach for this one. Yeah. I don't like the pin that they put in the, these. They're smooth. I mean, and you can you can push them out. Mm -hmm. um, I think then they'd be a little bit fatter with them little lines on them and stuff. Yeah. To little keep rippers. From, yep. Well, you how much is them on sale for? You got a drawer full of them, so they I should got be a drawer cheap. Full of them. Oh, they are cheap. It's a snap on. It's all cheap. Y'all know, I know in Sunday school, y'all have always heard that saying, don't go to hell, don't, don't steal, you go to hell. <laughs> you go to hell for lying like you do for stealing, Hamilton. That's it. Snap on, cheap. I ain't never heard nobody say that. Everybody fusses about the price, but don't nobody fuss about the quality. <laughs> These are 167 and actually I got them for $50 off to 117 117 that's, that's pretty good bid off of regular and how lights. much is just the body on these uh they're a little bit over 100 i believe and then you gotta buy a hundred you gotta buy a hundred dollar battery now there'll be more than 100 on these uh i'm thinking about the other ones that are right around 100. i actually do like them lights though yeah i need to buy another now, light but i was like wrong I 99.95 for just a light, but then you get about a five dollar battery though. I may, now that I'm thinking about it, I may put this one in my Jeep to order me a tow box to go on the back of it, mm -hmm. and uh, because y'all would need a light if you're out there working on something, and that'd be good for that because I can recharge it in the Jeep if it goes dead. On well, me. when you're out in the middle of nowhere riding and drinking beer, you always got to go potty. Yeah, <laughs> that would be horrible. Have a have your snake in your hand step on another snake. When it... that, yeah, I'd have more in my hands. <laughs> but, you know, normally you're, you're intoxicated, so it probably wouldn't bother you near as bad if you was sober. <laughs> Just start trying to pee on him, you know? <laughs> Let me give you a drink, buddy. I'm going to fight you off right here. Buddy. No shoulders. Let me give you a drink, see if you can wiggle away. Yeah, uh, but yeah that's, I think I'm going to do that. When my tow box comes in for my Jeep, I'm going to put my light in what there. It, what, open that other drawer back up. Let's see what else you got in there. Huh? This one? No, no, that ain't a good drawer. Uh, this one? No. We got some I soccer rails on there. Still one more down. Oh, one more all down. The good ones. Yeah. yeah. That one. You got that BB gun in there. Yeah. Was that Makes a Red sense. Rider? Yep, it is. <laughs> it, uh, you start to be like Joe. Well, I bought that from a customer for myself. I was sitting there talking, we was talking about guns and stuff, and uh, I was like, man, I ain't had a 30-30 in a long time. I've been meaning to buy one. Actually, I bought some ammo. Is that ammo. a Winchester or uh, Marlin? No, I think it's a Marlin because yeah. the size Winchester comes out the top. Yeah. And uh, I was like, I bought some ammo the other day because I finally found ammo. So I ain't even got no 30-30. He's like, well, I bought one a few weeks ago. I'd say for what I got in it. I said, heck, you say. And he told me the price. And I was like, well, that sounds about right, you know, for old used gun. And That's then he brought that one out, right and I was there. like, oh, dang, son, yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> New scope on it, the crosshairs light up and everything. Wow, well, nice. It's hard to beat a 30. 30 30s probably kill more deer in Mississippi than any other caliber. Yep. I would say probably a 30 out 6 is behind it, and then a 308. Yep. And, uh, yeah, like I, said, I had a 30 30 a long time ago when I was younger. The gold trigger, I did Marlin. Too. I, I still got mine, and Lever I killed action. a bunch of deer with that little And now that there. somebody talked me out of it one time, I was needing some money for something. I imagine. Man, it's hard to get a gun for me. I, that's one and thing I never sell. As, now, I sell an impact gun. Yeah. But I ain't going to sell no one that shoots bullets. I get people all the time ask me those, like, because, like, and you do like Joe or like uh, O'Quinn? Y'all sell any guns? Now, I'm in the buying gun business, not yeah. in the selling gun, not no more. I'm, I'm going to say one day they're going to be hard to come by, and all mine's going to be lost in a boat accident. Yeah. Like, I like to buy them like you bought them where they yeah. ain't no paper trail. That's right. Somebody's like, you get, like, now nah, we're, we're going to do a raffle on that one. You know, yeah. I'm going to give it away to somebody. One day I'd give it away. Probably yeah. my kids. That's but, what I'm doing. Oh, well. 
But I've been buying ammo for 30 30 and they ain't had one, so I had to go get me a, a weapon. You got a 300 blackout? I do. That's bad little dudes, too. I got night vision scope on mine. That's, I ain't got no night vision. I ain't got that kind of fundage. Nah, they're, they're well, not. I do got a loophole on that bad boy. <laughs> well, that, that probably costs more than my night vision. <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's a pretty awesome caliber gun out right there. Now. I like, I love my 300 blackout. But you know what I hunt with all the time? Two saved me. Well, that's what I got from my board to hunt with. Yeah. And I've I carried his with me twice last year just to. Well, I bought a 308 and I was like, this is gonna be my new deer rifle. Man, I sighted it in, shot with it, loved it, loved it. I shot a deer, and I'm used to that 270. When you pull the trigger, instantly it's dropped. Like just boom, like somebody knocked a sack of taters off the counter, right? Yeah. And I shot it with that 308. That thing, like, I knew I hit it. And then I seen the cough that happened after that, and it lunged about four big leaps. I was like, what in the world? And I hit it in a good spot. But it just didn't have that drop effect like, like, you like I was used to, to with that 270. So I hunted with it twice, killed one deer with it, with one bullet. And put it back up. Yeah. But I got it though. They say I, I want it. I got me a new one last year where I, I was hunting with 30 out of 6. I had the 30 30 a long time ago. Uh, I never killed a deer with it. The only time I ever shot it was just target practicing. Mm -hmm. Sold it and I bought a 30 out of 6, which I've been hunting with since I was, I think, 15 year old. Loved it. Killed numerous yeah. deer with it. I got me a 257 Weatherby last year because I wanted something where we're hunting at a little bit longer range. Yeah. And something that's a little bit lighter, mm -hmm. and I want to drop down to the 25 caliber, a little faster, a little bullet. faster bullet, and everything. Now I was going to look for a 25 out six because everybody's talking about how much, how accurate they are, and how far they can shoot, and this and that. Mm -hmm. I went and looked at one and stuff. Ammo was high, and the guy ended up talking to 257 Weatherby, which I ain't never even heard of one. Uh, now the bullets on them was very high. Oh yeah, but I'm 300 blackouts ain't cheap either. Now. They don't reach out there as far though, either. <laughs> <laughs> About a hundred yards is. See, I own a 454 Casul. Yeah. And it's uh, I ain't never killed a deer with it, but I shot a pig with it one time. And man, it's like that thing was on a trampoline. It is, boom, <laughs> <laughs> the opposite direction. It was impressive. Like, yeah. That's yeah. what uh, I ain't. I haven't shot one with that 257 yet, but I've been wanting to just to see what it do. That's what I told my wife. I said, I'm anxious to shoot one and then i'm nervous at the same time because if it don't drop like that 30 out six i put it back up and yeah, i get my that's way i was like I, just, I like that knockdown power man because yeah you know not every time you hit them in the best spot right but if you got the knockdown power by the time they get through rolling and fighting that off when they go to get up they're done at that yeah. point you know well, the, i'm lazy i don't like to track them i like to drive up there with a four-wheeler and chunk them on it and go my biggest thing is where we hunt at we, we got so many hogs out there, you're more apt to see a pig than you are a deer. Yeah, you, it's tough. That pig hide is tough, pig dude. is tough. And that's what... Uh, and they can take it, too. They'll they'll run. I, that's what I told somebody. I shot two two years ago with that 30 out six, big old boar. Well, I say big old boar. He's about 160 pounds, which in the wild, you hear all the people, I got 300-pound boar. Yeah, they Not Mississippi. No you well, you didn't get one in Mississippi anyway. They just don't get that size, you know? Yeah, some redneck doesn't have them on the grill by then. Yeah. But uh, I shot him, I mean, in the front quarter, and it didn't come out the other side. That thing was sucked her up like a sponge. And I had people say, well, pigs don't run very fast, though. You ain't yeah, never seen do. a pig run. A pig, yeah, they do. I believe a pig passed a dirt bike. They, <laughs> they can run very fast. Now, they're not going to run very far. Yeah. That's why I say, I think a pig will pass a dirt bike, something, especially if it gets startled. Yeah. Buddy, them sun guns can move now. Yeah, they go into an abandoned ship very fast. Mm -hmm. And the way they do that, it's kind of like a swim motion back yeah. and forth. Like well, you uh, got to be on them when they're running. Been getting into trapping, but everything like where our land is that we hunt, either swamp or it's big hills. Yeah. And well, Mississippi, you can't your live traps have to have be open on the top so a deer can get in. They can't be more than I think it's now it's like seven foot tall. If you want to build you one, which is fine, you can do that, but. Man, it's tough to get a wall that's seven foot tall that's to hold a pig up when they're jumping mm -hmm. against it. Because mm -hmm. it was like, well, ain't jump out like bull crap. A I've seen bulls jump. jump over six foot fence, and you know a pig can. I seen a bull come out of an open top horse trailer one time. Or, well, it was a cattle trailer. But 
it was probably 1100 pounds and he come up and over he got his front legs over the top of it and when he hit the ground he was gone like race is on buddy when i worked at pontiac stockyard as a teenager we had one in there i mean he was full ground so he probably 2500 pounds huge sucker they had him in there, and there's another bull somebody's unloading. Yeah, he was they just only in got trailer. like five foot panels over there. Five foot they? panels. Yeah. The other bull was in the trailer. This sucker, he walked up to it. I mean, never thought he was going to jump over it and just flat footed. Bounce right over it. Right over it. I mean, he headed straight towards that trailer, and there wasn't <laughs> nothing you could do. Yeah. He just wanted to fight. That's so all he wanted to do was just fight. Yep. The bulls, there's, there's only two things fight and something else. And <laughs> he had fighting on his mind at that point. A bull's good for three things fighting, uh, breeding, and hamburgers yeah. that's it that's the only thing, the only thing is, yeah that's true all right guys well, we can back, go back in here and get after it like always thanks for hanging out with us on this awesome amazing snap on friday finally friday hopefully y'all have consumed at least one cold beverage during this video if not you're already behind me and hamilton's ahead of you got that right all right guys like always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, you take a finger and you click that button. It's free. Unlike the new Snap-on Light that'll be out in nine more minutes. Yeah. It's free. <laughs> Y'all have a good week. See ya.